Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So, today I'm going to show you how to make that twisted headband that you saw me wearing. It's very easy to make and it's very easy to adjust the size. It's super cool. Now, um, I think if you're a beginner you can do it as long as you know the basic stitches. Because it is mainly just a double crochet, two together. Which I'll show you how to do that. And single crochet. That, so that's pretty much all it's made out of. So don't be afraid to try it because it's actually a very easy pattern and it's also fun for the advanced as well. And like I said, it's very easy to be size adjustable. The twist is very easy to make. So the size I made probably fit around um, 20 to 22 inch head. Of course, you can make it bigger or smaller if you'd like. Um, that's what it looks like. Pretty easy. Okay, let me go ahead and set this aside and I'll show you what yarn I used. So, this is what I used. See, it's got some sparkle to it. It's very nice yarn. Now, you don't have to use this yarn. This is called uh, Lilu, I guess, by Ramont. It is a 90% llama, 10% polyamide, and it is classified as a lightweight number three. Um, there are about 110 yards in this in one ball and I didn't use I used one and part of another so probably about a hundred and uh, 25 or 30 yards for my size of a lightweight number three yarn you can use a four weight any three weight or any four weight you'll just have to adjust the size of your chain and then I'm going to be using a size I which is a five and a half millimeter crochet hook if you're using a four weight I still suggest that you use the eye which is a five and a half millimeter for whatever weight you're using okay so to make it the size that i made it i started with the you can chain this multiple or this stitch is done in any multiple so you can chain any number you want there's no uh, uh certain or particular multiple that it needs to be i chained at 61 um so my head is approximately 21 and a half inches long so you want to measure your, and then my piece when I was finished before I folded it was about 22 inches so um, this stitch right here leaves a lot of leeway for stretch so what you want to do is measure if you're making it for a different size say you want uh, a child measure make a chain that'll fit uh, snugly around their head snugly it doesn't have to be loose snugly um, adult same way if you have an adult with a, a you know bigger head than I do um, make the chain in any number uh, snugly around uh, the head and the ear area you know where where it's going to cover all right but if you want to follow along with me it's got you know like it's got a lot of room for leeway as far as stretch goes so we're going to go ahead and start out with the chain of 61 I'm going to show you on a smaller scale but once you get your chain of 61 done going to go ahead and single crochet in the second stitch from the hook I'm actually sorry about that I'm going to go in the back loop of so when you flip your chain you see how there's those little bumps in the back it's one loop back there now this is going to be the hardest part of the whole thing I'm going to single crochet in the second stitch from my hook so one two but I'm going to go in the back loop that little bump right there it's just one loop. It's first one's always the hardest to get. It is. Plus my yarn's kind of splitty that I'm using. Single crochet into that. Then I'm going to single crochet into that little back loop. Just one loop of every stitch for the length of my chain. And then, like I said, this is the hardest part of the whole piece right here. And what this is doing by going into that one loop on the back, it's given a clean edge so you don't have to go back and clean it up with a row of single crochet. I don't usually do this, but it really depends on the project that I'm making. This time I decided I would do this, even though it is a little bit more time consuming. See how I'm just going through that one bump on the back? 
If you can't get it, don't worry about it. Just go through it normally, like you would one single crochet in every stitch for the length of your chain. Now, I'll show you what it looks like. See, now by going in that back loop, it leaves a nice clean bottom there, like that. Or if you prefer, you could always do the sing uh, foundation single crochet. I don't like that, so I don't do it. But one single crochet in every stitch until you get to the end of your row. After this row, it's super easy. All right, once you make it to the end of the row, if you're following along with me, you should have a total of 60 stitches. If you did a different number, you'll have one stitch left than however many you chained. Now, it's just a one row repeat. So row two is the repeat row for the whole pattern. So we're gonna chain one and we're gonna turn our work. Now, we're, that chain one doesn't count as anything. We're gonna pretend like it's not there. And we're gonna work right here into this very first stitch and we're gonna work a double crochet two together. So we're going to yarn over and go into that very first stitch, draw up a loop, and then we're going to yarn over and go through the first two loops that are on our hook, like that. And then we're going to yarn over again and go into the same stitch and draw up a loop. Again, we're going to yarn over and go through the first two loops on our hook. And now we'll have three that remain. We're going to yarn over and go through all three. And that is how you do a double crochet two together. So it's a double crochet, but they're, they are uh, crocheted together to have the appearance of one stitch. So we're going to go to the next. And we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to yarn over into the next stitch and draw up a loop, yarn over and go through the first two loops on our hook. Again, we're gonna yarn over, go into the same stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through the first two loops on our hook, and then yarn over and go through the remaining three. And that is a double crochet two together. Again, we're gonna do that in the next stitch. So we're gonna yarn over, go into the next stitch, Draw up a loop, yarn over and go through the first two loops, yarn over, go into the same stitch again, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through the first two loops, three loops remain, yarn over and go through all three. And there again is another double crochet two together. And we're going to do that in every single stitch all the way to the end. Show you one more time. We're going to yarn over and go into the next stitch. We're going to draw up a loop, yarn over and go through the first two loops of our hook. Again, we're going to yarn over, go into that same stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through the first two loops. You'll have three that remain yarn over and go through the remaining three just like that so i'm going to continue along putting a double crochet two together in every single stitch until i get to the end of the row just like that once you get the hang of that it works up rather quickly and it makes a very easy unique design very easy but unique design. So I'm going to continue doing my double crochet two togethers until I get to the end of the row. All right, I've made it to the end of my row and I did my double crochet two together in my very last stitch and I should have 60 stitches. 60 is the magic number. That's what we're going to have the whole time. So now what we're going to do is this repeat. We're going to chain one and turn. We're going to do the exact same thing that we just did row two is the repeat row so we're going to go right here into this very first stitch and do a double crochet two together
and then we'll go to the next stitch and double crochet two together and the next one double crochet two together and we're just going to keep repeating row two double crochet two together in every single stitch till we get to the end of the row following along with me you'll have 60 each time chain one turn and repeat now we're going to do this till we get uh our piece in between four four and a half inches and then i'll meet back up with you and then i'll show you what we do after that so just keep repeating a row two All right, so I had done a total of eight rows on that. It, that is including that very first row, single crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna do one more row of single crochet for row nine, but first I'm gonna give it a quick measure. So, so it's about four, not quite four and a half inches. So anywhere between four and four and a half inches is a good uh, width for your uh, headband. So what I'm going to do now for row nine is I'm going to chain one and turn my work and I'm going to do one final row. It's just going to be one single crochet in every stitch. So I'm going to go right back into that first stitch and single crochet one time in every stitch. All right, I have made it to the end of row nine and what I want you to do is tie off but leave a long tail so you can sew the piece together so like that all right so we'll go ahead and give it another measure probably around four and a half inches i would say yeah pretty close good enough for me all right so what we're going to do now is we're going to create the uh twist so there's going to be a right side and there's going to be a wrong side. The single crochet that row that we just did is going to be the right side of your work. So flip it facing down. So now we have the wrong side of our work facing us. You can see the single crochets are facing the wrong side on both rows. So this is how we're going to do the fold. We're going to take this side and we're going to match it up about um in the middle of this piece right here so if you look here there are three rows that stick out on this side use the middle one as a guide and put this piece right about in the middle of that one like that okay let me zoom in so you can see better not out in in okay so we put this piece right in the middle there of our third right in the middle there of this piece now we're going to take this move this tail out of the way we're going to take this piece fold it around to the back to where it's about in the middle there like that see that get them all lined up there and then we're going to take this piece and fold it over this way so now we have like a little sandwich see that so I'm going to show you one more time just in case. So you got your piece wrong side facing you. This is how we create the twist of the headband. Any headband you make really. You take this piece and you put it in the middle at the top here. Okay. Bring it up to you. Now you take the other half of this piece and we're going to flip it around the back to where it lines up with the front piece. There's that tail hanging. Pull it out. It's always got to be in the way. Yeah. See that to where it lines up in the back. Make sure that straightens out there. Okay. And then we're going to take this other piece here and we're going to fold it around the front to where it lines up like that. So we have a little sandwich, burrito, whatever you want to call it. And now we're going to take our long tail right here and use a yarn needle and sew it up. 
So I'll show you. I guess yeah, if I would have left a long enough tail, we could have used that, but that's okay. In the beginning, I mean. Long enough tail in the beginning. So you got your yarn needle. Now we're going to neatly sew it together. So get them all kind of neatly evened up. Here we go. Here's your tail from the very beginning. We'll have to sew that in too. But for what we're going to do is go through all four layers like that. You are constantly in my way. Here we go. And you want to do it kind of tight. And you want to do it neatly. Now I'm not going to go back and forth. I'm just going to go or over. Like I'm going to go from one side. And I want to make sure that I get all going through the top layers of all four pieces. And you do it as neatly as you can. And try to keep it as neatly as in order. Go through the top layer of each piece. So this one, this one, this one, and then this one. There's four of them there. You could go back again as well, which is what I'll probably go across it twice. So we don't want it coming undone. Make sure you grab all four pieces each time across. Okay, there's that. We're we'll gonna go across again here. Going across a second time is also going to help hide your tail. So, make sure you pull it a little bit tight. I hope it looks good. I hope. Now we got to hide this other tail too, so I'll go ahead and do that. You can just, once you get done here, clip your yarn off. And hide that tail, other tail. So I'll clip this, hide this tail, and I'll meet, I'll meet back up with you right at that spot. All right, so I clipped my tail. So now what we're going to do is flip it and hope for the best. So we're going to flip it right side out. And straighten up your little twist a bit. There it is. There's your twisted, twisted headband. Super easy, beginner-friendly project. Or it's also quick and fun for the advanced as well. I had fun making it. And I hope that you did too. So if you enjoyed my tutorial, don't forget to give me a like and a subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my videos. And please check out my hundreds and hundreds of tutorials that I already have. I have anything that you could ever, ever want to make in multiples of them. Thanks everybody for watching. Have a good day. Stay safe, okay?